What up, boys? A lot of you have been asking about a Phase 2 uh, or Season 2 PvP best list. So, uh, these are my picks. There's not actually that much choice. But uh, these are my picks for Season 2, and this is what I'm going to be aiming for on my Priest. Uh, keep in mind that there are a couple of slots where you're going to be switching items. And uh, we'll talk about those when it comes to it as, uh, as well. And, and, you know, different races are going to have different priorities and different situations for those items. So we're going to start off with Cowl of the Avatar. And I'm just going to use my T4 Helm. A lot of people have been asking about NG Helm. If you haven't got T4 Helm, you can use the NG Helm. It's going to be easy for you to get. Uh, but I would say T4 Helm is actually slightly better. I'm not going to go into the, the specifics, but I think the stats that you actually lose from the T4 Helm uh, versus what you gain on the NG Helm make the T4 Helm slightly better. T5 Helm, however, is actually a direct upgrade from T4 Helm, so if you can get your hands on this, it's very good. Uh, neck, we actually have a healing neck this season, and same for the ring when we get to it. And it is actually just a super good item all round. It has basically everything we want. Uh, so this is an easy choice. If there are some situations where you really feel you can drop a fair amount of resilience, then I uh, believe there are some higher regen necks that you can go for. Uh, potentially, you can go for the Sanguinous Charm. But again, this is not a lot more, uh, not more, not a lot more regen. It's more just, you know, a buff to your uh, your healing. So this is not that valuable, but Teeth of Gruel is still really strong in terms of a regen item. So if you are not concerned about your own well-being, you can actually switch to that for, for regen battles. But again, it depends on what, what matchup you're playing, what you're facing, if you feel like you're getting trained a lot uh, in whatever comp you're playing. Then we're going to be running the Season 2 Mooncloth, and we're going to be running 4 set uh, once again. And these actually have more armor on this season, so we actually get a nice little little armor buff as uh, as clothies this season. Uh, as you can see, the the armor is in green. Uh, and we're just going to be gemming this basically the same. Uh, you can go for the the healing MP5 gems. I believe these are slightly stronger for threes, where the matchup is a little bit faster. Uh, or you can go for healing and spirit, uh, which is going to be stronger for twos. And the reason, obviously, we're going for the four set is because we're able to get relatively high resilience anyway. And the four set actually provides us with more survivability as long as we don't die in the stuns. So that's the reasoning for that. Now, Cloak, we're going to be going for the Sun Shower Light Cloak because it provides just generally insane stats. A lot of healing, a lot of regen while having stamina and intellect as well. Compared with the PvP Cloak, which... It's all the way down here and isn't healing either. There's no no new PvP cloak this season. Uh, and although it does have Stam and you know a little bit of resilience on, it's not enough to make it worth dropping this regen item. Especially when we have 300 resilience with this current set already. It's, it's plenty. Uh, and that's without swapping the, the PvP weapons on, which we'll get to in a second. Chest, again, is going to be the uh, Merciless Gladiator's Moocloth. And you'll notice that I put the spirit gem, uh, sorry, the hit gems in the shoulders and the chest. We need three of them to get your hit cap with the gloves, 15 hit on. And the reason for this is because now it allows me to potentially swap around the neck and braces if I want to for something that has a little bit more regen. And this won't impact my uh, overall hit chance and cause potential resists. No headaches there. Uh, but we're going for the, the Mooncloth Cuffs from PvP. I'm going to be picking those up. These are generally stronger than any real uh, options. There's obviously the wraps of purification, but they don't really give that much over the veteran's mooncloth gloves to make them worth dropping that resilience for, especially with that socket. So we've gone for the, the PvP ones. Weapons, uh, we're going to have two sets. We're going to have the PvP ones. You should still have your PvP weapons from last season. So you can switch those on when you see what you're facing. If you think, oh yeah, I'm, I'm facing something that could, could potentially go on me. Whack those on, that's going to give you another 45 resilience. I believe it's around 60 with the season two weapons. So, once you've bought your season two uh, main parts, you can go again for the weapons. I'll most likely go for the offhand, then the wand, and then the main hand. The wand not being that much of an upgrade over previous seasons' wand, but the offhand is very good this season. As for our PvE set, we're going to go for the Light Fathom Scepter, is uh, just the strongest main hander of this tier. 
Uh, and, and Talisman of the Sun King from TK is the strongest offhander of this tier in terms of just general regen. Uh, and then we're going to go for the Luminescent Rod. Since we're assuming this is going to be our regen set, we're not really going to get targeted, so the lack of stamina is not that detrimental. Sticking with Medallion of the Alliance, but the Trinket is going to be Earring of Soulful Meditation. This is actually huge for Priests on this tier. Drops from Lurker below in SSC. Uh, if you're not raiding, I would seriously consider, as one of the very early bosses, I would seriously consider even just like trying to pug it uh, to get this Trinket, because it will, it will massively impact how matchups go for you. Even if this is the only PvE item you get your hands on, this is the one you want. This is an important grab for sure. Ring, there's a very nice one available. I believe this is from Vash as well. And it just has insane stats. 27 spirit, 75 healing. It's just really, really high stats overall. Still has 21 stamina, which is awesome. Um, so this is a, a very good second ring for this uh, tier. Uh, as we said earlier, there is actually a healing ring in the game now. So obviously 5 MP5, 22 resilience, 44 healing, and then good stamina intellect. This is an easy grab. Now the boots is a little bit of a, a weird one on this tier. So the boots are actually from tailoring and they are bind on pickup. Now, the issue with this is we don't really want tailoring. So what you can actually do if you have the goal is you level tailoring, make these, and then drop tailoring again. And this is this is very min maxi, but these boots are just a direct upgrade from the uh, the boots of the incorrupt. One more MP5, a bunch more healing, around the same spirit, and then just slightly more stamina and intellect. So it depends how much gold you have. You can you can quite happily sit with boots of the incorrupt for the tier. I think uh, the other option being the Soul Strider boots, which are not bad either. I feel like they are slightly worse than the boots of incorrupt, just because of the 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 balance of the stats on them. But if you are a fan of spirit, then definitely go for these. They're from the first boss uh, and, and a, a decent option as well. Either of these you're going to be fine with. Uh, but I think boots of the long road do just win it out overall. Uh, and remember, if you do want to take more resilience, obviously you can grab the boots, the PvP boots as well, and swap them on. If uh, if you feel like, you know, this there's a, there's a team playing that trains you a lot, or you're getting a lot of, you know, mage rogues or something in twos, uh, on a particular day, then you can whack on the extra resilience and, and it's going to help you out. However, if there's like loads of Warlock teams queuing or something like that, you're probably going to want a little bit more of the regen. So you have to kind of make that judgment, but having the boots obviously is just power to you, right? Uh, legs, again, is just standard. The uh, Season 2 legs, um, Merciless Gladiator's Mooncloth, nothing really to add on that. Uh, the belt is going to be the Veteran's Mooncloth Belt, and this is you're going to run this most of the time. However, if, again, there's uh, a 2 DPS team or something like that you, that you know goes on you, you can potentially, obviously, run the NG Belt. And if there's a team where you feel like you need more regen, or a lot of teams queuing where you need more regen, or in threes, something like that, where you feel like you're not getting trained, then you can whack on a Belt of the Long Road. Yeah, the main stats are a lot lower, but the Spirit and the regen on this is going to be a lot higher. And this is going to be... Uh, potentially edging you out in the long run if you have more mana than they do. So again, this is up to you to make judgment calls. If you're playing Undead, maybe you want to run the NG belt a little bit more, as you're generally more of a target than as a Dwarf. Gloves is just standard, Merciless Gladiators, and that's going to finish it off 4-set. Nothing really to add on that other than, yeah, grab the spell hit on it, 3 hit gems to go with it, and that will get you a hit cap. Rings is a no-brainer, just drop, drop the healing. Boar speed on boots, uh, epic healing enchant on legs. Nothing much to add there. 81 healing on weapon. I've actually got 6 MP5 on braces here. You can go with this or you can go for the healing. That's personal choice, I would say. Um, obviously, the resilience on the chest to get you up to 300, which is really nice for the amount of uh, PvE we've actually got on. And then, you know, we're going to be on sitting on about 350 with the PvP weapons equipped, should we uh, need to. Uh, spot pen and cloak standard healing enchants on helm and shoulders and and that's basically it i uh, i really don't have that much more to add i've gone through it real quick so uh you guys don't need to sit here and listen all day but i will put a link to this uh 70 upgrades in the description uh there was a little bit of confusion with my last bis list this is obviously the first first rendition of it i will update the 70 upgrades in the description as things change this video will not get updated. So if you're watching this video in two, three months time or whatever, and you're like, wait, this isn't, this is, I'm confused, what? 
uh, you know, there's some new items out, whatever, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, then just, yeah, refer to the 70 upgrades link in the description. That would be the most updated one. I'll keep that updated. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something useful. Uh, and see you on the stream.